The National University of Singapore has admitted that it made a mistake in how it handled the recent dismissal of a professor accused of sexual misconduct. NUS has pledged greater transparency and openness moving forward without compromising the welfare of victims. Second is to look at the speed of police reporting. So we understand there is a need to comply with our legal obligation, but also concurrent need to pro proceed with caution in the exceptional circumstances, the possibility of the complainant's self-harm and threat to the safety of the complainant as well. NUS has also acknowledged the considerable gap between the date Dr. Jeremy Fernando was let go and when the rest of the Tembusu College was informed. In this regard, the college's rector says NUS has failed to live up to expectations. The policy is to be open rather than close, to be transparent rather than opaque, to give timely information to your stakeholders rather than to withhold such information. So using these two, three criteria, in my view, uh, NUS has fallen short. So here's a quick look back at what led up to this. The first complaint against Dr. Fernando came late August. An investigation ensued, and Dr. Fernando was subsequently suspended. The investigation wrapped up early September, by which a second complaint also surfaced. Two weeks later, Dr. Fernando was informed of the alleged misconduct. He responded a week later and was dismissed by the university on the 7th of October, about six weeks after the first complaint. Now, the victims and faculty were informed, but it took nearly two weeks for NUS to convey the news to the rest of, Tembusu, of the Tembusu College community. And this week, NUS lodged a police report against Dr. Fernando. For more, we're joined by our reporter, Geraldine Yap. Jerry, thanks for joining us this evening. Uh, we know there has been some unhappiness from students about the gap in information sharing and the transparency. What explanation has NUS given about this? The university says the gap is basically... Um, one of the reasons for this gap is essentially what they are calling um, a conservative culture of the university where they feel that um, Dr. Fernando being dismissed is not something that needs to be communicated to the students. Of course, this is something that they later admitted was a mistake on their part. Um, and the university also said that this is a culture that needs to be changed and the university has to be more accountable to its students. As for why there was a gap of about two months from when the first report was lodged to when the university filed a police report, the university said this um, was partly because they had a legal obligation to file the report to the police, but they also want to be mindful of the students' mental and emotional well-being and to ensure that the students were mentally prepared and ready to assist in the investigations. And Jerry, there was a town hall today for Tembusu College students to clarify what steps NUS will be taking going forward. Uh, what's been their reaction to this? Many of the students have said that they are disappointed at what um, feels like a lack of communication on the part of the school and they feel that the administration tends to paint such scenarios and situations as something that is merely a breach of the code of conduct or basically bre breaking a rule. But um, in cases of sexual misconduct, it's more than that. It's also a matter of um, you know, a breach of individual and community safety and dignity. And so the students actually want the university to take these cases more seriously. They also feel that more should be done and more can be done to educate students on issues such as sexual violence. So let's take a look at what one of the students has to say. There is a one-time like sexual respect or consent module or workshop that you have to take. Um, which I feel, yes, it's the right step in the right direction, but because it's like an one, it's like a one-time compulsory thing. Um, oftentimes, from what I observe, like most students don't really take it very seriously. Like it's just something that they have to get through with. So one point that the rector of Tembusu College, Professor Tommy Koh, brought up in the press briefing today is that we live in a time of the Me Too movement now where victims feel more empowered to come out and speak up about their experiences. And um, he says that this is something that the university also recognises and, um, you know, the university has taken steps in the past after... Uh, 
uh, allegations or cases of sexual misconduct. So, for example, last year, the university set up the victim care unit after um, the incident where a student was filmed in the shower on campus. And this unit is now working with the victims in this incident uh, to provide them support. Okay, many thanks for that. Geraldine, yeah, there.